What is going on everyone, Mattitude22 here today bringing you guys another brand new figure review. Today we're looking at the DC Icons Swamp Thing figure. Really, gotta say I'm really, really excited for this one. I know I said I was really excited for Deathstroke, but really excited for this one too. Looking at the packaging, it looks pretty good. You can see on the top right corner here, it has a number 18, which leads us to assume that this is the 18th figure in the wave. You can see six pieces, I guess the hands. I I, I only count four, but I guess the hands because they're swappable. I don't know. Oh, it says DC icons on the side right here, or DC DC Comics. Did I say DC icons? DC Comics. It says icons on the bottom with a little Swamp Thing logo in the middle of the O. Some DC logo and warnings on the bottom. On the top, it has that nice Swamp Thing logo. Not too much on the side, just a better view of the figure from the side. On the back, you can see the other figures in this wave. So we already reviewed Deathstroke. We'll be reviewing these two. More pictures on the bottom. It says DC Comics there, icons there. Kind of the same there. On the bottom, a lot of writing, a lot of words and barcode. And on this side, it has... The giant number 18 with the Swamp Thing logo. It says DC Icons there. And this figure is from the Dark Genesis storyline. I would assume that's what that means. I, I'm not a huge... Uh, like, I've definitely read some Swamp Thing, but not a lot of old Swamp Thing. So, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Alright, so we're going to we're gonna get this guy out of the package. Uh, it's going to be like one second for you guys, but it's going to take me like... Probably going to take me like five minutes. So with that, I will see you guys in the future. All right, so we are back. I got to say, guys, I, I was a little worried about this figure. I was a little worried about the scale with the icons. I thought he was going to be too small, but now that I have him in my hands, he does have some decent weight to him. He feels not necessarily like heavy, but he just feels like lankier. I don't know, does that make any sense? He just feels lankier. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what that's what it feels like to me. So all over his body, it, it's just textured everywhere. It looks very, very nice. You can see on the back, there's a lot of, like, a lot of roots and stuff like that. It just looks really good. It just feels really good. The face sculpt is pretty spot on. That looks that looks pretty scary, right? Looks pretty scary, right? Definitely looks good. Definitely they got the face right on and, and the arms a lot more of those roots or vines, whatever you want to call them. They got it everywhere. So definitely uh in terms of in terms of texturing, you're definitely getting your money's worth with this guy. But uh that's about all you really get. There's not really any molded on details or any like separate pieces, but you do get a lot of texturing. His, as far as accessories, I, I don't know what this is. I don't know. This is pretty weird, but uh, it kind of fits on his shoulder. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to go like that or something i don't know if you if you oh that's uh that's the end of that i guess but anyway if you guys know what that is let me know in the comments i'd really like to know and he comes with some alternate grabbing hands if you want to have him grabbing someone by the neck like choking the life out of them or maybe slapping someone you can definitely do that or you could just have them straight up punching people out with these swamp thing fists looking at articulation it's pretty good the head moves side to side it's it's kind of a it's kind of weird how it moves like it doesn't like you could see how the neck kind of extends like normally the neck would go up but the neck kind of extends out a little bit so you can see it does get side to side but uh, it doesn't look the best I guess that kind of makes them look creepier, but I don't know if, I don't know. It looks creepier, but it doesn't necessarily look right. It looks like he's, it looks like he's puzzled 
or like you've said something and he does not know understand what you're saying so he's kind of giving you that like sideways head look like what what are you talking about what are you talking about man up and down well then well i guess we uh can kind of see there that he is on has a ball peg in the neck as i suspected so let's kind of pop his head back on so you get pretty good up uh, <laughs> okay then well down you get a little bit not too bad not too great either ab crunch is a little stiff but it works it does have kind of like a double ab crunch well up here it's more of a diaphragm joint which does move pretty good it, but it doesn't necessarily move down i feel like that's why he has an ab crunch on the bottom but this doesn't make him move down either it makes you get back it works back pretty far same with this but you don't really it doesn't really want him to move look down unless you really force it there you go that looks not too bad it doesn't have any kind of waist twist again hence the diaphragm joint but he does have the ball peg for the shoulders and that moves forward this much and backwards this much he has a double jointed elbow which you get a pretty good range of motion on that so no issues there the wrists do rotate and they do not hinge but they do rotate so at least we got something the double ball peg for the hip so there's a ball peg there and a ball peg there not really any kind of upper leg rotation but they do kind of move back and forth they move out this far so you get a pretty good range of motion for a kick not really so much back but you get a double joint you get a really good range of motion on that you get a really really good bend in the knee i like that and the good thing about this figure is <laughs> okay then well <laughs> the good thing about this figure is the joints don't look bad because he's just all green so you could you could articulate them as much as you want and it's not going to really make any sometimes like joints you move it around too much and they don't look right you're not going to have this problem with this guy the ankles do move back and forth and it does have ankle rockers and while well, we're down here you can see you see that it's got feet the feet look pretty nice, all in all, Swamp Thing. He's got the toes, so all in all, that looks not too bad. So yeah, definitely looking at this figure. I really think he's worth a pickup. Again, I'm not I'm not super familiar with Swamp Thing. Like, I haven't read a lot of it, but... I haven't seen a lot of Swamp Thing figures either, but this is definitely a good one. I definitely think if you pick this guy up, you'll be happy. He does suffer from a little bit of accessories does not have as much accessories as the other ones but he is larger so i guess you kind of get it there I'm just really quick the hands pop out pretty simple you just kind of yank those out and they just push in like that so no issues there but yeah definitely i think this guy is worth a pickup I think you'll be happy. And I hope you are happy with this video. If you were, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know you subscribe. Tell me. Leave me a comment. I'll subscribe to your channel. You tell me that you subscribe. Please like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this figure. Let me inform me on how little I know about Swamp Thing. Like that accessory and stuff. G give me some details. I, I want to hear from you guys about this. And, uh... We'll have more figure reviews coming up for you guys later on. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.